Hello and welcome to this video on the Anomaly Detect Tool and Insight Vision Suite. With the release of Insight Vision Suite 25.1, the Anomaly Detect Tool is now available in Spreadsheet and Easy Builder. This is a new tool available as part of the Edge Learning Tool set. The Anomaly Detect Tool is able to automatically recognize defects, debris, and other faults, allowing you to identify unknown or unanticipated defects on your inspected parts. In this video, we will walk through the steps to set up an application using the Anomaly Detect tool. To get started, let's open Insight Vision Suite. Once our job is open, we will navigate to Inspect to add the Anomaly Detect tool. To add Anomaly Detect, we will expand the VIDI EL Tools section and choose Anomaly Detect. After selecting the tool, we will select the region we would like the tool to inspect. Click and drag the box over the area of the part you are inspecting. In this job, we are selecting the majority of the part. Next, we can click OK to add the tool. Now that the tool is added, we have additional options that appear on the screen. First, we see the area where images are labeled either OK or NG. This will indicate the number of images we have selected as good or bad images. Next, we see the tool prediction score. This will show the score of the current image selected and the threshold that has been set. The score is a scale of 0 to 100 and indicates the presence of a defect. We can also adjust the feature size we are inspecting. This will change depending on your specific job requirements. The optimize option will become available once we have added at least two good images and one bad image. Anomaly threshold settings are next. By default, the threshold is set automatically based on the detection settings. Choosing the auto threshold options drop down allows you to choose between three different options. Prioritize OK detection sets the automatic anomaly threshold to reduce the number of OK results that are falsely classified as NG. Balance Detection sets the automatic anomaly threshold to minimize undetected anomalies while avoiding false positives. Prioritize NG Detection sets the automatic anomaly threshold to reduce the number of NG results that are falsely classified as OK. You also have the option to disable the auto set anomaly threshold setting. This will allow you to manually specify the anomaly score above which an inspection produces a NG result. Heat map is the last setting. You can enable or disable the heat map at any point. The heat map is an overlay that allows you to see what is happening in the tool dialog. Now we will begin labeling images in order to train the tool on our image set. To select an image, we will double click on the image from the display at the bottom of the screen. Then we can choose either the green OK or red NG buttons to label the image. In this example, we will label the first four good images as OK. You can add up to 36 images to the training set for the Anomaly Detect tool. Once we have labeled a few images, we can begin to see from the heat map where the defects are appearing. As we look through our images, you can see how we are detecting defects based on the good images we have labeled as OK. It is important to note that the more images we label OK and NG, the more robust our defect detection will be. For additional information on the Anomaly Detect tool, please follow the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.